magical place In the bookcase Where anything can happen In the bookcase A story from the reading chair A story from the reading chair A story from the reading chair Hello And that's the start of the story, because the bear stared at the grump -a lump The lump grumped. The bear stared and the cat sat on the grump -a lump The lump grumped. The bear stared, the cat sat, and the mole rolled on the grump -a lump The lump grumped. The bear stared, the cat sat, the mole rolled, and the dove shoved the grump -a lump the lump still grumped. The bear stared, the cat sat, the mole rolled, the dove shoved, and the bull pulled the grump -a lump The lump still grumped. The bear stared, the cat sat, the mole rolled, the dove shoved, the bull pulled, and the yak whacked the grump -a lump The lump still grumped. The bear stared, the cat sat, the mole rolled, the dove shoved, the bull pulled, the yak whacked, and the armadillo used it for a pillow. But the lump still grumped. <coughs> then the new blue. The lump grew plump and got humps and bumps, bits and bobs and interesting knobs and wings and things attached with strings. And still the new blue. Then, to everyone's surprise, the grump -a lump began to arise. The new drew breath and clambered in. The grump -a lump began to grin. I'm off on a trip in my hot airship, said the new, and flew. Absolutely true. And how the bear stared. What a funny book. <laughs> and it's called The grump -a lump it's been written by Sarah Hayes with illustrations by Barbara Firth. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Hello bookworm. Grump, grump, grump. Sorry? Hello. Grump, grump, grump. Did you know that the grump -lump was a hot air balloon? Oh, that, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And hot air balloons are big balloons. Yeah. Big enough for people to actually get in them. Wow. Oh, mm? True. And news? Well, news could get into a hot air balloon, yeah. but not in this particular hot air balloon. No? No. Listen and find out. Mr. Rupert Margaston McFarlane McDoom Built the world's most famous ever hot air balloon He invited everyone, everyone he knew everyone. If you'd been around then, you'd have been invited to Truly there was Edward the elephant and Henry the horse, <laughs> Helen the hippo and her best friend, of course, Wilbur the whale who came ashore upon the tide. Hoppin said McDoon to them, I'll take you for a ride. Hoppin, hoppin. Be a bit crowded, that balloon. It was, yes. <laughs> Well, every TV station from New York to Toulouse now reporting. Come on, came sheesh. along Come with on camera sheesh. crews Come to on. cover the news. The Sydney stuff. Morning Herald and the Brisbane Courier Mail wow. came to watch the launch of his balloon with Wilbur Whale. Here we are with the news. We're going to watch this launch today. Come That's on, sheesh. Very good reporting there, Bookworm. <laughs> Mr. Rupert Marguston McFarlane McDoon said, I'm firing up the heat and I'm we're leaving the soon. Hoppy, never the buddy. burner was ignited, oh so to fill the envelope, it fluttered for the camera. We're off now, I hope. What do you think happened? Oh, I crush my fingers and see what does happen. Not a lot. Not a lot. Mr. Rupert Marguston McFarlane McDoom never made it to the news with his great balloon. We're sorry, we're Edward to said to Henry, who said to Wilbur Whale, yes. we're coming back tomorrow, we'll be here without fail. Uh -huh. MacDoon has built a tip truck. A tip truck? That we are going to sail. Like a leaf in the wind, we're blowing, 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 like
sounds high up in the sky where hot air balloons float. Perhaps the whooshing of the wind. Yes, or the cries of high-flying birds. Uh, not this, though. No, I don't think so. But it's fun, though. Yeah. We're going to tell a story now, one that you probably know. It's called Crocodile Beat. The words are by Gail Jorgensen, <laughs> the picture's by... Patricia Mullins. Down by the river in the heat of the day, the crocodile sleeps and awaits his prey. Ducks are quacking and splashing around. Quack, quack, quackity, splash. Great. It's a great Beat. sound, isn't it? I think we need something a bit faster, don't you? Do you want to come for a ride in the hot air balloon, Lynn? 
Great. Oh. That's perfect. Yeah. Ready to go. Mr. Rupert Marguston, McFarlane McToon, built the world's most famous ever hot air balloon. He invited everyone, everyone he knew. If you'd been around then, you'd have been oh, really? invited too. If you'd been around then, you'd have been invited too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Hello. I Can like that sound. That's yes. a, a good sound. It is, we're, isn't it? Yes, we're having a noisy sort of day yes, today. Well, aren't we? How about Bookworm, a noisy story on our noisy a day? Noisy a noisy story? Oh, yes, please. It's yeah. about a rabbit, and you know, rabbits, they're not that noisy, yeah. but just wait. So, a Rabbit had been away visiting his friends. Yes. He'd been away for a few weeks, and he came home, and he couldn't wait to get in his nice, big, warm, cozy warren. Oh, yes. But just when he was about to jump into his warren, yeah. He heard a sound. A sound? A strange sound. Yes. And then out came the biggest voice he has ever heard. Oh. And this is what it said. It said, I am the monster of all time. I eat hippopotamuses for <laughs> breakfast <laughs> and elephants for tea. <gasps> he thought, a monster <gasps> has moved into my home. <gasps> my goodness, it's going to eat me. <gasps> what can I do? Don't so he looked you? around and yes. <gasps> up in the tree there was a tiger. The tiger? Oh, you know that tigers have yes. sharp claws yes. and sharp teeth yes, yes. and a very, very loud roar. Uh -huh. So he said, tiger, tiger, psst, psst, psst. Here, could tiger. you come down here, please? Down I'm here. a monster. A monster. And could you come down and scare it away? Wow. So tiger, you know, tiger's very nice. Wow. And so yes, he yes. prowled up to Rabbit's wow. home and he stuck his face down the hole. Down the hole. And he, ready, he went, <laughs> Oh. Rabbit shook the ground, shook everything, shook. Yes, yes. And then there was silence. I can hear it. Listen. Did it work? And then the voice was even louder this time, and it right. came out of the home, and it said, I am the monster of all time. I eat hippopotamuses for breakfast and elephants yes. for tea. Yes. It didn't work. Now Tiger was scared. Right. What were they going to do? I don't know. Because, I mean, that voice was so loud, it was much louder than Tiger's roar. Yeah. But Rabbit had an idea. Hippopotamuses for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Yes. Elephants for tea. Elephants for tea. Why don't they ask Hippo and Elephant to come and see if they can scare the monster away? And then if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter because the monster will eat them and they can run away. Right, right, Brilliant. right. Good. So, right, well, right. you could hear Hippo and Elephant coming from miles away. It was stomp, 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 stomp. I can feel them. And then they went right up to Rabbit's hole. Yes. And... Elephant got his trumpet and put it right near the hole and went <gasps> with his trunk. Mean true. Mm, it was very loud. And Hippo counted yeah. one, two, one, and then two. jumped in the air and went <gasps> stomp. But, but still no monster. Still no monster. Instead, the voice was so loud. You might have blocked your ears for uh -oh. this one. Ready? I'll block uh -oh. your ears for you. I am the monster of all time. I eat hippopotamuses for breakfast and elephants for tea. What was that? Pardon? Hippo said, hippos for breakfast. Elephant uh, said, elephants for tea. <gasps> yes. We're getting out of here. And just as they were about to run off, yes, yes. a little caterpillar came crawling out of the hole. A caterpillar? Caterpillar, caterpillar, what are you doing? Did you see the monster? How come you're alive? It didn't eat you. No, what monster, said Caterpillar. I don't see any monster. I said, you know, if the monster that, you know, the hippos yeah, for breakfast, the, the elephants for tea. Yes, tigers. Oh, oh no, that, that was me. You? You, but you're tiny. Yeah, well, I was seeing how big I could make my small voice in a big space. Uh -huh. You must have been hearing the echo. <gasps> the echo? The echo? Go. They were furious. <laughs> so quickly, Caterpillar went and he hid under the nearest leaf. Yes. And bookworm. What happened? That is why we always see caterpillars hiding under leaves or in the grass.
But they were the wrong no, voices. They were, they were the wrong voices they with the wrong animals. Up. Or how about, how about, I think these are the right voices with the right animals. Huh? <laughs> I have a story about a person called Tom, who thinks his cat is very clever. <laughs> he must because he thinks his cat rides a motorbike. You see this on the cover? The story is called Tom's Cat, and it has been written and illustrated by Charlotte Voke. Here is Tom looking for his cat. Click, click, click. Is that Tom's cat? Walking across the floor? No, it's Grandma knitting socks again. Click, click, click. Tap, tap, tap. Is that Tom's cat? Is he dancing on the table? No, Tom's mother is typing a letter to her friend. Tap, tap, tap. Splash, splash, splash. Is that Tom's cat? No, cats hate water. So does Tom's brother. But here he is, trying to wash his hair. Clatter, clatter, clatter. What's that? Is that Tom's cat bringing everyone a cup of tea? No, it's Tom's dad making pancakes. And what's this loud noise? Vroom, vroom, vroom. It sounds a... A bit like Tom's cat on a motorbike. Vroom, vroom. But no, it's Tom's sister quickly cleaning the carpet before anyone sees she's dropped the cake on the floor. So where is Tom's cat? Meow. Hello, cat. Purr, purr. I had a cat and the cat pleased me. I fed my cat by yonder tree. Cat went fiddle dee dee. I had a hen and the hen pleased me. I fed my hen by yonder tree. Hen went shimmy shuck shimmy shuck. Cat went fiddle dee dee. I had a dog and the dog pleased me. I fed my dog by yonder tree. Dog went bow wow wow wow. Hen went shimmy shuck shimmy shuck. Cat went fiddle dee dee. I had a pig and the pig pleased me. I fed my pig by yonder tree. Pig went griffy gruffy griffy gruffy. Dog went bow wow wow wow. Hen went shimmy shuck shimmy shuck. Cat went fiddle dee. Cat went fiddle dee dee. Oh yeah. Nola, what word would you use to describe that sound? That, well, a, yeah. like a, a slam or a, a slap. A sl mm -hmm. What about the sound of somebody jumping into a puddle of water on a rainy day? Ooh, splash, maybe? Or splash, or, or a splosh. Oh, splosh. Well, interesting you should say that. Ooh. Because Mick Inkpen, mm -hmm. one of our writers who writes our books, gotcha. he thinks it's splosh too. Ah. And he's written a book that's full of words that describe sounds. And it's called Splosh. Shall we read this together? Yes, let's. Yes. Splosh. Splosh by Mick Inkpen. Splash went the rain on Kipper's umbrella. Splosh went the puddleless Kipper jumped into it. Flash <sighs> went the lightning. Boom <laughs> went the thunder. Mm. Good sound. Went the water off the hedgehog's nose. Oh, look, the oh, poor little weird. hedgehog. It's an umbrella. Nose is running. <laughs> hop, squelch, hop, squelch, hop, squelch. Mm. Went the three little rabbits. Hop, squelch. Ah, 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 choo. 
Oh. Went the hedgehog. And then he did it again. Oh, excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. Slop, slap. Slop, slap. Went the water under the umbrella. Oh. Seems like they're in a boat. Isn't it? I hope they don't sink. No, I don't think It'll so. It'll be very sloshy. It would. And at last, without a slap, or a slop, or a hop, or a squelch, or a drip, or a boom, or a flash, or a splosh, or a splash, out came the sun. And I don't think the sun made any noise at all. Snap your fingers. Snap your fingers. Tap your feet.
ready, Mr. Lagerfeld? I am. I had a cat and the cat sees me. I fed my cat by yonder tree. Cat went fiddle dee dee. Fiddle -dee. Oh, true. I had a hen and the hen sees me. I fed my hen by yonder oh. tree. Hen went shimmy shack, shimmy shack. Cat went fiddle dee dee. I thought they went meow. <laughs> I had a dog and the dog pleased me. I fed my dog by yonder tree. Dog went bow wow 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 wow. Oh, well. Hen went shimmy shack, shimmy shack. Cat went fiddle dee dee. I had a pig and the pig pleased me. I fed my pig by yonder tree. Pig went griffy, gruffy, griffy, gruffy. Dog went bow, wow, wow, wow. Hen went shimmy shack, shimmy shack. Cat went fiddle dee dee. Meow. Oh, fiddle dee dee. That's not it's enough worse. animals and sounds. I think we should. More? I think, why don't we strange. write a few more verses to oh, that song? I with okay. different animals and different sounds. Yeah. How about I'll be scribe, okay? Right. You oh, write you're write going to write things scribe. down? I'll write things down. Okay. So Very uh, awkward. What, what would we have? A pig. A hen. Uh, what about there was, there was a There was a hippo was, in my story. There was a hippo story. in your story. Yeah. A hippo. Yes. I had a hippo. A hippo. And a hippo. the hippo pleased me. I fed my hippo by yonder tree. Okay. Right. Hippo, hippo went, say. well, anything it likes, really. Uh, true. <laughs> look at me. Yeah. What do you reckon? Like so look yeah. at me. It's pretty big. Okay. I can't write that down. I had a hippo and the hippo pleased me. I fed my hippo by yonder tree. Hippo said, look at me. <laughs> oh, we need look another animal now. So we've got a really big animal, a big hippo. Or something smaller. Ooh, a mosquito. A mosquito. An ant. An ant. An ant. An ant. Yeah, okay. I don't mind that. Hippo and an ant. What would the ant say? They run around a lot. Ooh. Busy, busy, busy running around. Looking for picnics. What? Busy, 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 I had an ant and an ant pleased me. I fed my ant by yonder tree. Ant went busy, 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 a parrot. A parrot? They squawk. A parrot. Okay. Sits on your shoulder. What do parrots say? Pretty Polly. 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 Pretty Well, that's the sound of my goodbye. See you later. <laughs> Bye, Bye Sidley. Well, Sidley. Well, here's the other sound of goodbye. Yes. What's that? Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs> Books in the book place were The Grumpa Lump, written by Sarah Hayes, illustrated by Barbara Firth, published by Walker Books. Crocodile Beat, written by Gail Jorgensen, illustrated by Patricia Mullins, published by Omnibus Books. Tom's Cat, written and illustrated by Charlotte Vogue, published by Walker Books. And Splosh, written and illustrated by Mick Inkpen, published by Hotter Headline.